uh, today I'm just like wanting to share um, an idea and this is just a simple concept which I've kind of been playing with really for the last six seven years but really thoroughly especially in the last six to nine months right um, and that is that this idea that the past equals the future over the past does not equal the future and you might ask what the fuck am i talking about excuse my language but here's what i mean imagine imagine that you do something or there's something Oh no, let me start, let me ask this question, okay? Have you ever had an experience where you feel like something's repeating over and over and over again? And no matter what you do, it's like, okay, you know, for example, let me just use the relationship example, like if someone's dating an alcoholic, right? And then they uh, stop dating an alcoholic, um, because it ends in abuse and then for some reason they get back into the same thing again and it's like oh no matter what happens the pattern keeps repeating and the reason that happens is because well I'm just playing with this idea and this is just from what I'm experiencing now especially in the last year is that the past equals the future if the past isn't cleared up if it's not if it's not come to an end uh, but it's us that has to acknowledge that something is repeating and happening over and over again and for us to then act in ending it and that act actually quite often needs to be quite a courageous act it needs to it needs to be something that involves um, in my experience, especially, it's about communication. It's about just confronting whatever it is that you most becomes most fearful. So, for example, a person in an abusive relationship, it might be that they had, you know, from a very young age, their father was an alcoholic and abusive. And because the reason is they haven't forgiven their father so they keep repeating the same thing over and over again now forgiveness is an interesting thing because it's like oh okay i forgive him so at an intellectual level it's like it it doesn't it doesn't sit it's like i say i forgive him but actually that's bullshit you don't there's something that has to be done there's an act that needs to be committed an act of bravery that needs to be committed in order for those things to not repeat again in the future. So uh, I was going to share an example, a quite a big example for me, but I'm not entirely comfortable with doing that yet uh, because I don't know what the outcome is at this point in time but there will be one stage when i will share this uh, a little bit more openly um, but in the meantime like please post your comments let us know let me know your stories i'm, I'm just interested in this because here's the thing right health for me this is all about health and just living a vibrant high energy existence like and so just on its own food doesn't cut it like it's a big part of my life i love food i love nutrition i'm obsessed by it but what i realize is that sometimes the fact that we've got low energy has nothing to do with the nutrition because you can put all the good stuff in the world but you could emotionally you're an absolute disaster and so it's important to adopt these kind of ideas and think about them, explore them, try them out on yourself. Post your insights, share your comments on this video. I'm really interested and intrigued by what you have to think.
think as well. Thanks a lot for listening and I'll speak to you soon.